Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about expired domains and the recent update with expired domains. So the actually mention it here, expired domain abuse, and basically go into low quality, unoriginal content boosting off their an expired domain. So they basically purchased it and repurposed it for boosting low quality content. So it's basically buying expired domain, spamming it with loads of articles, and using it to rank. So expired domains have been a massive tactic in my SEO career and in many others. Like it works, everyone uses it. It's definitely a tactic you want to be using. But with this recent update, it's definitely worth checking out people have been using this tactic, if it's still working, and what are the caveats to this. So I've got a few tweets here. So Charles Float mentioned he's just done a bulk AI website and it's still indexed the website. So what he does is like the first rank theory. So he'll buy an expired domain, he'll pump it full of content and making sure it's no indexed at the start get all the content up so everything's like built on the site already and then press index and index everything at once. It seems to do a lot better and as you can see it's a day in and it's just indexed loads of pages. There's obviously a few other tactics and I've uh, covered a lot of indexing stuff in Conversion Collective so if you head over to that you'll find a lot of stuff there at conversions.so but it's definitely still working. One little caveat I'm going to say with this, this update with the expired domains mainly is targeting like the English market. It still works in foreign markets like France, Germany, uh, Korea, every, all, the, all the other Google search engines which aren't basically US, and UK, Australia and Canada. But it's definitely worth still looking into. You still can get away with it. Corey's did a tweet uh, not too long ago about exact match domains and he's also touching on expired domains. Exact match domains are really powerful. It's nuts how... how uh, how much easier they are to rank. Even if you put a hyphen in it, it still do really well. Uh, but he's basically saying expired domains are still working and they're still going strong even after 22 years. They've been trying to get rid of expired domains and the, the whole concept of it for a while. One of the cool websites, in fact, what I'm gonna show you now, I loaded up this page in the last uh, Google update for expired domains as well. And it's basically saying ai.com. So ai.com used to be owned by ChatGBT in February and then it redirected to xai and now it's linked to google gemini so let's just do ai.com and as you can see it goes straight to google gemini now so expired domains is very natural it's just a normal business acquisition so you can do it in three ways like i put here so free one to a home page like what google's done with gemini there do it to an internal page saying your site's acquired that page link to the internal page and then you use that internal page to link out to your top resources. That's generally what I tend to do. Uh, there's obviously loads of different tactics. And then there's an expired domain for blasting out loads of content. And there's a few other ways as well. So you can link that expired domain to like category pages and e-commerce or different SaaS pages, depending on if it's relevant. It doesn't really have to be relevant, but what happens when you link, like redirect a full expired domain to your website, you get all the anchor text. So if the anchor text isn't relevant, you can mess up your site's anchor text and confuse Google what that website or what that page is about because it might have loads of anchor text about, I don't know, microphones when your page is about cars, something like that. So you wanna make sure it's relevant just for keeping those anchor text relevant as well. One of the cool websites which I've always found funny to look into is iVisa.com. So they have been hit, the traffic's gone down massively compared to what it was according to SEMrush. It's really funny watching, looking at their backlink strategy. So iVisa.com, backlinks, and then if we scroll down, so you can see they've got these pages. Um, this is the main page and this is what they're linking to. Or they've used visa.e and then this internal page linked to their internal page. I don't know if this was used to be their own website, they've acquired it and just redirected it, but they've done it with with quite a few other websites and they've also done it with like Wikipedia. So what they tend to do is buy like embassy government websites and then free or one really direct it to the relevant page. And it's been working for them for quite a while. Obviously it looks like they've been hit now but it is a really interesting topic to check. So it's mainly this iVisa. Let me find another platform. Uh, we'll check this out. But this page now will link to this page. So what they're actually doing is just linking an internal page of that main website to 
to their new website a, a relevant page. For the evisa.com, the actual website is still up and running. It's not actually redirected to anything. So it's still like a normal website here. They've just basically paid or it's their own website. So they paid either to just link redirect an internal page to their website, which is a really good strategy if you're, say in my industry, it's a mattress industry. So I'm doing like Emma mattress review, for example. And then what I do is find through the search and maybe find like a mummy and dad blog on page two or three. And that it's not really getting them any traffic. And basically I will pay to rent it off them to redirect that page to my page to basically juice it up. So that works. So you also can get a backlink from that sort of page, which is kind of similar, but you can redirect your single pages to, to your page. It's fairly common in like casino as well, but it's quite a funny tactic to look into it's a good uh, good website to look into for basically their redirect structures and 301s and 302s they've got a lot of random uh, redirect content in here so that was just a quick update on expired domains it still works as you can see from charles i know a few other people who not sharing stuff publicly about expired domains working in different geos and you can still basically bulk and get loads of content out there it's definitely worth it for more of a link building tactic rather than basically churning out loads of AI content because Google's obviously hot on it now, but it's still working as far as it is today. And that brings me to conversions.so. It's basically an online community for like SEOs, for people who's building online businesses who want to get more monetization out there, digital assets, and basically learn how to monetize and make more money and share in the community. We have a few modules up already and we're gonna be producing more modules and basically pulling together a community to share tips and tactics of what's working, what's not working. So you can stay ahead of the curve, basically. Collective information. All right, guys, if you're not liked or subscribed already, like and subscribe and I will catch you in a future video.